Hi. In this video, we are going to continue to explain functions and parameters. So, writing a function with parameters is like making a recipe that you can reuse. So, we introduced functions with parameters last time, and we're going to continue to explain it with a different example. So, in this code, I'm uh, summing several numbers. So, I declare variable x equal to 5, y equal to 7, and z equal to 30. Then I make a new variable called sum, and that's equal to x plus y, and I print that out. And then I make another variable called sum2, and that is y plus z, and I print that out. So what I want to call your attention to is the similarities in this code. We're summing two numbers, and then we're printing them out. So what we want to do here is write a function called sum, and it's going to take in two parameters, the two numbers that we want to add together, and it's going to sum them. It's going to print out the, the result. So 5 plus 7 would be 12. Similarly, if we called sum with 8 and 1, we'd get 9, or 9 and 4, we'd get 13. So on the left here, the numbers that are going into the function, those are the parameters. The parameters are the input to the function. So now we'll, we'll define this function sum. So we write function sum and then uh, paren open parentheses and then the names of our parameters. So first, comma, second. Um, and then we write and then we write that our total is equal to the first plus second and we print it out. So I want to call your attention to what is in between the set of parentheses here. These are the parameters. So you can have more than one parameter. And they're just separated by a comma. These are the inputs to the function. So if we want to call that function, we write sum, uh, and then 5, 10. Similarly, uh, there's several ways to call this function. We could write sum and pass it two variables, x and y, or one variable and one number, or two numbers. So now let's write up sum in our code editor and, and try out some of this code. So function sum, and the parameters are first and second. Those are the two numbers we're going to add. All right, var total is equal to first plus second, and then print line total. Now, if we run this, right, nothing will happen because there's no code in our start function. Let's put some, some code there. If I write sum 1, 1, we'll get 2 printed out. If I write sum 5, 10, we'll get 2 and then 15 printed out. So here you see that you can pass any number, and we've sort of we've written the recipe for how to sum two numbers. Let's try with variables. If I write var x is equal to 10, var y is equal to 104. Now we can try sum x, y. So you see that as our parameters, we can pass in either direct values or variables. And here, no matter what they're called here, no matter what they're called when we call in the start function, the names get changed to be first and second when we use them within the sum function.